Yep, what's good everybody, I'm Skates. You notice I don't have Ableton up today, and it's a reason for that. Um, before I do anything else, let me say this. I'm not anything gang that's retarded. I'm not FL Studio gang, Ableton gang, Machine gang, um, Studio One gang. I'm not any of that. I'm whatever allows me to work inside the criteria that I want to work in the fastest and the most efficient way. And that's how you should be. Um, the more you try other dolls, the more ideas you get, I feel like, and cre creative you get, and the more knowledgeable you get on how it is that you can work. Um, a lot of people feel like engrave themselves in one workflow, and when they do that, it causes a headache. But for me, it was too much of a dummy mission for me to be able to get everything outside a machine and into Ableton with me just being able to click the pads and record in. I, I got tired of that. So, I'll show you how easy it is to do this inside of Studio One, and this is the reason why I'll be using Studio One to do this from now on, or at least for the time being, because there's still some things about Ableton that I love. So the first thing you want to do, just as I did, click this drop down and make sure all of your channels here are routed the way that they're supposed to be. Um, this is going to allow you to be able to hear and see all of your sound outputs, right? So I just went back so you can see what's happening there in the mixer underneath, bang. Then we do exactly what we did in the beginning of the machine route and video that I was showing y'all before. I don't know what did I just do? That and hit control A to select everything. Click this wheel here, go to input, go to MIDI, turn through off. Hit the tab key, click IO, choose host, for MIDI in, for MIDI out, choose host. Then from here, hit control A again, select one and one two and two three and three four and four and you continue to do that all the way through to all 16 of these are routed the way that they're supposed to be right and then so you never have to do this again click file after you have all 16 of them done Oh, actually, before you do that, let me show you this too. Go to groups. Make sure that now just do this because this is what it's going to look like by default. Make sure patterns and routing are not highlighted. That way, if you want to bring in another pattern or you want to bring in another group, everything isn't going to automatically change inside of your project. Everything will stay the way that it is. Once you do that, click this down arrow file, go to save. You can save it as a template. Now I already have one set as MIDI host template, John. That way I can do this in every DAW that I work in. So you, I'm not gonna save that right now. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I already have a template. And I'll remove it here as well. And then I'll drag this back in again. If you wanna save a preset inside of Studio One, you click this and then you click store as default if you wanted to or you can store it as a preset i save mine as a preset so then once i do that the only thing i gotta do is go here and choose all 16 of these outputs why it is that that won't save inside of studio one i think it has something to do with the mixer inputs and outputs but whatever um, i still do that um, and then the only thing i have to do is click t to add tracks i'm going to add 15 instrument tracks and if you click pack folder it'll put it all into a folder much like the folder inside of ableton for the inputs i'm going to choose machine 2 choose channel 1 ascending and that's what i was talking about in the last video it'll automatically throw all of them from uh the first one all the way through and i'm actually going to choose channel 2 as opposed to channel 1 because the first one is channel 1 um for the output same exact thing channel 2 ascending bang got 16 channels all automatically routed the way that it's supposed to be take this first one bring that down change that to channel 1 change this to machine and change that to channel 1 now if I was to go back and load a group Make sure that this is a an I group. Just choose anything. 
I haven't used this hit in like <laughs> five years. Bring this up here so you can see what's happening in the mixer, just like I did the last time. Let's make these smaller. All 16 of your channels are routed. And the thing I love the most about this is hit shift C, turn the metronome on. When I'm ready to record, if I click this from here, from the top of the folder, it's automatically going to arm all of those by itself. I'll make that smaller so you can see what's going on. Hit the record button. Now let's say I wanted to add a sound on any one of these individually, and I'll just do this on sound one, make this easier on myself. I'll just arm that one, bring machine back up, find a sound. Not enough instruments. Throw this in keyboard mode on my machine. Make some DJ mustard. <laughs> we hit record. here to piano editor piano roll everything's directly in here now why can't it be this easy to just work like this inside of uh ableton i'm not sure but my head was hurting doing all of that and now that i have something that's much easier to work with this is what i'm going to be doing from now on um there are a lot of other things that i like about ableton that studio one does not have in this current state of studio one like the capture feature i'm pretty sure it's something that's going to be coming quick because cubase just got something that's similar to capture uh, logic has it pro tools has it even fl studio has it um, with the piano score midi dump or i think that's what it's called um, so that's something soon to come but because this is much easier to route this is what i'll be using from now on um, if this video helped you at all give me a like follow subscribe hit the notification bell and all of that again my name is skates y'all be blessed peace